Right. Uh, there have been times throughout history when people who have really hated other people have dug up their bones and uh, burned the bodies. In this case, you're talking about crushed the bones, uh, all to try to prevent resurrection from happening to that person. And uh, it shows you a very shallow view of resurrection and a very shallow view of God and his attributes, as if God is somehow going to be foiled uh, from resurrecting somebody because something was done to their body. It's sort of a bizarre concept, but it does show you how fall, far short uh, we fall in our thinking. Someone, several people actually have asked me about uh, cremation and how I feel about cremation. And I, I think that uh, the, the most important thing to understand about cremation is it, pos it, it poses no threat whatsoever to the doctrine of resurrection. And that's why I, I thought of it immediately when you ask your question, because it's, it's really the same thing. Suppose somebody uh, is burned in, a, in, a, in some great fire somewhere and there's nothing left of their body but ashes, is that going to pose a problem to God in the resurrection? The answer is no. Suppose somebody died thousands and thousands of years ago and is indeed part of the ecosystem, scattered out all over the world, little parts of their body, uh, you know, does that pose a problem to God? No, none at all. Now, with cremation, I, I do have an opinion on it. I, I won't say it's a super strong opinion, but my personal uh, preference is for uh, burial. And the reason for that is in, in ancient times, God's people uh, buried, meaning placed bodies in tomb or in some cases in tombs or in some cases underground, but they did nothing to destroy the body, whereas the heathen cultures typically burned the bodies. Now that doesn't mean because heathen cultures did a thing, it's therefore automatically displeasing to God, nor does it mean that because God's people, the practice among God's people was to uh, do the entombing or the burial, Therefore, that automatically means that we must do it. It's just that as I look at it, I'm just more comfortable doing what the righteous people did instead of what the heathens did, even though I can't give a specific ground for it. I think you, someone could argue, well, maybe it's because of respect for the body as a temple of the Holy Spirit, and therefore we will do nothing to destroy that body even after death but we'll let it, the natural processes, you know, have their way. Well, those natural processes are not great natural processes. Um, you know, so, it, but, but that could be a logic behind it. So I, I'm, uh, that's just uh, an opinion or a preference. I don't have a strong biblical basis.